Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kyla and today I'll be doing a Christmas season haul. I got a lot of stuff over the past month and I'm gonna share everything with you and do a try on and also give you tips on how I would style them. Majority of the things that I got are from Brand New Melville. I also got stuff from Realization Par, Princess Polly. I bought some stuff from The Thrift. I'm gonna start with the big lot, which is Brandy Melville. I'm gonna try to do them in chronological order of when I bought the stuff. And the first items that I bought here were from New York. I bought this Nikki sweater in, in these brown stripes. So it's like a light brown and a dark brown. I really like this sweater, the oversized fit. What I don't really like about it is the v-neck cut so if i wore something inside it would look fugly but i just choose to wear this all the time as is and just like with a bra or a sports bra or something but then for layering it's a no-no for me unless you wear like a, a button up with a collar inside and i also got the so flow denim skirt it's really cute i love how i love the length but what i don't like about it is when you wash it the bottoms ride up and they fold up when you put in the dryer etc and i can't fix that here because we don't have an iron i've worn this already like what two or three times but it ain't doing it for me <clears throat> ew sorry i made an outfit with these two pieces i wore this as a top and this is the bottom i wore them with my low dock and then white ankle socks so yeah schoolgirl vibe i just wanted to show also before i left here i bought this from carousel it's the so flow skirt again but then in like a in a gingham print <laughs> but what i can but what I can say about this is the sizing is different between this one and the denim one. I love the I love the fit of the denim one, but then this one is super low waist. You can't wear it as a high waist. And then I I tried to adjust the button because to to buckle it in from the inside you have to you have to put in the button. So I tried putting a button here and it just made it look lousy. So I have to fix it again when I get back home. But yeah, I haven't worn this out yet because I don't like the fit. But I love the print and the overall vibe. Okay, next, I went to the store in Santa Monica and then I bought this top. I'm not sure what the name of this top is. I think it's the Veronica top based on what I saw on the website. But if it's not, correct me if I'm wrong. So I like it because it's like a lined. Look at the detail. It's not ironed right now, but you can see the detail. When you wear it closed, it's very structured how it's sewn. So I really like it. It doesn't make you look lousy when you wear it. I can wear this as is or you can wear it with a vest over or you can wear it under a sweater and then make the collar pop out or you can also wear it with a knit vest. It's very versatile and simple and I can wear it a lot of times. When I'm buying things online or in the store, before I, I don't buy things impulsively, I really think about it. I'll be like, okay, how many times can I wear this? Am I willing to wear it more than 10 times or can I think of... 10 outfits with this item so that's what i always think about whenever i buy something will i be wearing this in like like next year is it just a trend that i'm into or what so yeah i really think all of the pieces are timeless and i can wear them for a long time for black friday i ordered this Athalia cable knit top in the brown color i've been wanting a brown Athalia for the longest time but then i wasn't sure if i wanted the cable knit or the the normal one and my friend who has the normal one said that it's super boxy and, and lousy to fit on her. And my other friend has a cable knit Athelia and it looks good on her and she wears it all the time. I also like how the cable knit gives a bit more of an accent. You can wear it as a normal cardigan with a, like a sando and then, a, and then you wear it over it and unbuttoned. Or you can even wear it just as a top, which I do most of the time with this top. Dress it down with sweats or denim jeans, low-rise jeans, and then my docks. So yeah, I love her. I got this, I don't know, is this the, an Ashland top? It says Matthew's Band. I've been wanting their more recent graphic tee tops. Yeah, what I would wear this with is as is with low-rise pants and then low docks. Or you can wear it with the skirts that I just showed you, the so flow skirt. Or you can wear it with a black vest or any kind of vest that you have, the possibilities are endless. And speaking of the SoFlo skirt, I'm so in love with the look and vibe that it has that I got another one in the blue color or blue, the plaid blue one. And it's pretty strange because I rarely wear blue because I think it doesn't match me, but then I don't know, it's something really draws me to this skirt, even if it's blue. So when I wore this out, I wore this with a dark blue 
sweater or pullover and I wore this polo under and then that was my outfit. I wore loafers and then I went for a really preppy vibe. Or like what I said, you can just wear a graphic t-shirt, dress it down, or you can wear or a cable knit vest and then wear a, a plain white t-shirt under. That's why I got her because someone's calling me, babe. Yes, that's correct. I'm on hold right now for the DMV because I have problems with my ID. So while I'm on hold, I'm gonna continue with my haul. Another one from Brandy. Not yet done with that Black Friday haul. Is this red beret. I've been really into old money Parisian vibes. This is why I got her. I wore this already twice. And I'm gonna pop up the outfit that I, I wore with this. But you can just wear plain outfits. And then you can just wear this as a pop of color. Which I really like because... I always love wearing color. And next, I got this Mejo off-shoulder top. I don't know the name of this top. But yeah, basically you wear it like that. Or you can make it sit above your shoulders a bit. And you can wear this. Or I can wear this with the red beret. And give like Parisian vibes. But I really like this top because yeah, you can literally wear this with anything. Uh, Low-rise jeans, high-rise jeans, a denim mini skirt. Or you can wear it with the so low skirts, plaid skirts, anything. And then, I got the Brielle 90s jeans. I love, I love them. I've been wanting to get them ever since I was in the Philippines. And I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about these jeans. And I've been wanting them for so long. But I was kind of scared because I didn't, I wouldn't get to fit it. I wasn't sure if, if it would be too loose, too tight, or too tight that I wouldn't get to wear it. Because you know how brandy sizing is. It's really not consistent. But then, thankfully, I got a size small and they fit me perfectly. Yeah, like what I said, you can wear these jeans. Hold on. Okay, so anyways, I was talking about the Brielle jeans and how they're really good and I love the fit. It's so flattering. If you get a chance to or if you've been wanting to get the Brielle jeans, this is your sign to get them. I also wanted to make a cameo of my other favorite jeans. If you're looking for the perfect low-rise, light wash denim jeans that are loose, get the ones from Hotel Rocks. Oh my God, get these ones from Hotel Rocks. These are my favorite ones. I've been wearing them in almost all of my Instagram posts. It's not even funny. Okay, next I got this top from Realization Par. It's the Zodiac T. Am I happy about this top? Yes. Am I happy about the price I paid? No. But I've been really wanting this tea for the longest time. The only reason why I got it now here the States is because if you order it from the Philippines, the customs is so expensive. So I opted to get it now, especially also during Black Friday sale. I've been wearing it a lot of times to get my wear out of the price. So what I said about graphic tees, uh, they're very versatile. You can wear it with a vest over, you can wear it as is. I've been wearing it with like blazers or cardigans, literally anything. You can wear this with anything. And then next, my other favorite piece that I got over here is from Princess Polly. Is this maroon maroon leather jacket i've been getting so many compliments whenever i wear this out for example i wore this and the realization bar shirt in it and then i did like an all red look or one time i wore it with just a plain white shirt and then my motel rock jeans with low docks and then so many people were like your outfit's so good this is your sign to get a leather blazer. It's a great investment. I know it's a little bit hot in the Philippines, but it's not too hot. And then, next item. I bought this in Forever 21. I bought this in Forever 21. Another green beret. Just like my red one, except I just wanted a green one because I always wear green. So, I haven't worn this out yet, but what I want to do with it is I want to wear it with a green cardigan, a black tennis skirt, and a white top inside to have like another Parisian vibe outfit, but also color coordinated. I went to Cabazon outlets with my family and then I got this cable knit green sweater. I haven't worn it out yet but she is very cute. She's a keeper. Very preppy, old money vibes. I can see myself wearing this with my brown soflo skirt or I can see myself wearing this with the denim one with my black tennis skirt, my Motel Rocks light wash jeans, also my Brielle jeans. It's always good to invest on plain pieces or simple pieces because you know that you can wear them all the time and no one would care. I wanted to show are my thrifted items recently. So this is such a steal. I got this from the kids section. It's a Calvin Klein dress vest. So here and why I was happy about the kids section was because I will know it's gonna be cropped. Here's the fit. I can wear it with the graphic tees that I bought recently. Or I can just close it. It's gonna be hard to close with my boobs, but I can just close it and wear it as is. And yeah, I've really been into vests lately, but 
and I wanted to experiment with how to style this so I'm happy that I was able to find this in the kids section at Goodwill because it's cheaper in the kids section and lastly I got some neckties at another thrift store called Hope of the Valley these are 99 cents each but then I got them 25 off do the math but it's cheaper than one dollar each why I got this because I wanted to wear it with my red blazer so imagine me wearing this maroon blazer and then i'm wearing my white collared shirt and then i have this on very loosely and then a black mini skirt or a black tennis skirt with my low docks with stockings or ankle socks i haven't really thought it out yet that was the outfit i was envisioning when i bought this one and then i just bought these two just because it was on sale too but then i'm for sure gonna wear these in the future okay lastly i wanted to include this dress that i'm wearing right now it's from with jean I bought it off Depop. My comments are I really like the color, except I bought the wrong size. I got a size small. I didn't know that. It, it basically the basically the fit is really lousy on me. I wish it were tighter because it just makes me look like a box. So yeah, when I get home, I'm gonna have it altered. This is everything I got. Hopefully, you enjoyed this haul as much as I did filming it and talking about all the clothes that I got. Thank you so much for watching and making it this far to my haul. What was I gonna say? Subscribe for more fashion hauls or LA Day in My Life. I'm gonna post a more Day in My Life. Comment down below also what kind of content you wanna see from me. I'm open to doing and trying new things. So, bye. Thank you. Bad bitch, small waist, pretty face, having my way, having, having, she let me nut on the face.